because let me tell you, you've never seen a house like this. Welcome back to Arc Las Vegas. I'm so excited about this interview. So this is an annual event that's well known in Henderson. And not only is it a scary good time, but money and food that is collected for charity. And here with more is the homeowner, Mo Lasfogel. First of all, I love your outfit. And Thank you're you. in theme because the Hover House LV. Oh my gosh, you guys, I mean, you just do it big every single year. But talk a little bit about the theme you have this year and what visitors can expect. So, um... This year is Alice in Pirate Land. Yes. Um, we were actually gifted an Obsidian, a 700-pound plexiglass um, caterpillar from Alice. Wow. At the end of last season. And we're like, well, you know, what do we do? And we're like, well, let's just theme it out to Alice. So we have Alice and the Mad Hatter and the Cheshire Cat. And um, we've set up a Mad Hatter's tea party on the property. Um, we've built a whole bunch of new stuff, and this year we're actually using a lot of digital projection. Oh my goodness. Which will be very cool. We were live out there last year. I, my heart is broken we weren't out there live this year, but we're so glad that you're on the show to talk to us about this now. So you're looking at uh, views of the property, and gosh, I feel like every single corner you have themed up, and there are so many cool pockets to check out the uh, like the graveyard right here. I know you guys have life-sized horses, and I can't believe you're taking it up a notch with uh, with some of the lights and all that. Um, but it's not just a great time, but also you're giving back to charity. What made you decide this is not the first time? But that's so that's so caring of you. Why did you decide to do that? So, um, 10, 11 years ago. Um, my grandson was born with autism. And I had already been working with Pirate Fest, um, and through them, uh, we worked with the Paradise Ranch Foundation charity. So we decided, because for years I was collecting two pieces of candy, and I thought, you know, we got, we've got to give back. So we started doing canned goods and cash donations. Um, so the charities have now exploded. We do Paradise Ranch Foundation. Oh, wow. We work with Opportunity Village. Um, we work with a couple other local charities and give kids the world back in Florida, um, which is uh, a last a last chance for for dying children. Um, and uh, we we just try to give back to the community. You guys are doing such amazing work, Mo. You've got such a great spirit. I mean, I love. Obviously, I love the Halloween spirit, and I love the theme, but you have such a big heart. You're a tough guy, but you've got such a big heart, and that is just so beautiful to Thank see, you. and I think that's so inspiring for people. And, I mean, obviously, not only is it a – I'm telling you, this is the best haunted house I've ever been to in my life. It is Thank just – and I, I really do mean that. <laughs> There's my picture. So those are, like, life-size skeletal horses. Let me tell you, this place is completely dressed up, themed up, just about every kind of frightful theme you could think of. You'll find it. So, Mo, where can people go to check this place out? I know this is the last night you guys are going to be opening it up. Tell us the details. So, the address is 919 Havre, H-A-V-R-E Avenue in Henderson. If you just put in Havre Avenue, Henderson, there's only eight houses, ten houses on the street, and we're all lit up, so you really oh, can't we, miss us. <laughs> I feel like, well, I remember when I was, like, driving, it was like, you know, we were driving in darkness because we were over in the middle of the night, and then I saw your house lit up, and I was like, oh, it's that one. Yeah, yeah. we're a beacon on the hill, <laughs> definitely. Um, and our, our cross streets, were near Warm Springs and Racetrack, so it's really easy to find us. There's plenty of parking. Um, we're expecting somewhere between 800 and 1,000 people tonight. Wow. Um, but it rolls because, of course, it's trick-or-treating. Yes. So people are out getting candy. If you'd like to drop off a candy bar for me, I like Reese's. And <laughs> there <Snickers>. you go. <laughs> um, um, but, yeah, it's great. We're actually up for an award uh, with three other homes this year. Oh, my goodness. Um, Congratulations. Thank you. There's a film festival called Shock Fest, um, November 14th. Um, we're one of the three homes that were picked. So when a horror movie th program picks you as a, a, and we're very kid friendly, very kid friendly. Yes. Uh, nothing jumps out and scares you. Although there is Bob who was run over by the train this year and Ooh. he just moans a lot. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm sure he's just but, tired. Yeah, he's probably. Just, <laughs> 
a lot of weight on his back. No kidding, no kidding. So people can stop by from five to nine o'clock tonight. Right, and if there's a line, we'll go a, we'll go a little bit longer. Perfect, so perfect. And so you can food or money for a charity donation. Right, and we have an ATM this year that was donated. Right. Oh, so that's awesome. Um, if you forgot some money, we even have change for it. Oh, that's perfect. Well, thank you so much, Mo, for joining us thank today. You, Chloe. I'm telling you, if you don't have plans tonight, you want to go there. Everett, we'll send it to you in the studio. What do you think?